Is Mexico travel safe? What to know about visiting Cabo, Cancun, Playa del Carmen and more. With its warm climate, beautiful beaches, and proximity to the US, Mexico is a popular tourist destination for many Americans. But some people may be reconsidering their travel plans after four Americans were kidnapped and two of them killed when they traveled last week to Matamoros, Mexico. They were caught in the crossfire of rival cartel groups in the border city in Tamaulipas state, according to Governor Americo Villarreal. The deaths of the U.S. citizens who traveled south of the border for what Mexican authorities called a medical treatment. I'm sure people will have some pause after such a graphic and horrible incident, said Gabby Beckford, a noted Seattle-based travel influencer who took a two-month excursion across Mexico last year. This will remind me not to be lax about my safety precautions and to always be mindful of my surroundings. Mexico remains one of Americans' most traveled destinations. Nearly 29 million Americans traveled to Mexico in 2021, according to data researcher Statista. By contrast, about 75 American citizens died by homicide in Mexico in 2021, according to the most recent U.S. State Department statistics. And in the past few months, taxi drivers have been harassing Ubers in Cancun and three Americans died in Mexico City in October 2022. Now an updated travel advisory warns of crime and kidnapping. We get this one a lot, especially by folks who haven't traveled as much, haven't left the country before, or have read stories about Mexico being dangerous but maybe don't recognize it's a large, diverse country, much like ours. Jack Banoff, president of Vacationese, which specializes in destination weddings in Mexico, told USA Today. Many of Banoff's clients plan trips to Cancun and Riviera Maya, known for their turquoise beaches and myriad resorts. Is it safe to take a taxi in Cancun? Here are the safest ways to get around, for travel agents. Stay safe while traveling here are 17 CIA tips, advice to think like a spy on vacation. The State Department updated the travel advisory for Mexico on October 5, which is done regularly. Several tourist destinations, like Mexico City, Seolita, and Cancun, now have warnings related to cartel-related crime. The safety and security of U.S. citizens overseas is one of the department's highest priorities, and we provide U.S. citizens with relevant information so they can make well-informed decisions before they travel," a State Department spokesperson said.